were discontinued when the coin was newly minted. And now so unlike a traditional gala that other other companies might put on where you get a dinner, a meal, some drinks, you know, a few people sing some songs from the past season, we instead write an original show, <laughs> basically. Our galas are uh, a full night of entertainment. So it's an original script, original lyrics, music by familiar composers, mostly Sullivan. And in the past, uh, it has included lampoons of things like Downton Abbey, um, soap operas on television, you know, Major General Hospital, for example. There was one that was based on Shakespeare, uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern's Excellent Adventure. We've done Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Sherlock. So this is uh, our chance to sort of spread our wings and, you know, go beyond uh, Victorian operetta but still in a musical style that we know pretty well. Mostly. We came up with the idea of a heist story. The premise is the, the year is 2054, and as we all know, cash is going out of favor, right? So by 2054, nobody is using cash anymore. Not only that, we've forgotten how cash worked. And so the old San Francisco Mint uh, has been converted into a museum, which by the way is fact. It opened as a museum in 2012. Well, now in 2054, it's the Museum of Money, where we meet animatronic figures who enact the history of money and how it used to work for the curious public. One of the animatronic figures happens to be the founder of the U.S. Treasury, <clears throat> Alexander Hamilton. I accept that I'm the one the fans adore. They applaud when I'm rapping in the room where it's happening. <laughs> in truth, I owe my fame to Lynn manuel Miranda. So most of the time we're singing the music of Arthur Sullivan. Every now and then we try to really stretch a lot. <clears throat> this one, because of the Hamilton influence, causes us to stretch quite a bit, so... Gentlemen and ladies, are you ready for a rap battle? It's, it's exciting, but, you know, we do dabble in patter songs when you're doing Gilbert and Sullivan, and there actually is a direct relationship between patter song and rap. This one lost you this job. Well, Mrs. Cousin Jewel, she had the tools. The South needed fixing, so she served the travel agent across the Mason-Dixon. A union-inspired abolitionist, that's what the 20 needs, not a White House exhibitionist. Well, we're trying to wrap our heads around that. <laughs> but hopefully what we're doing will serve the story. Shady, you say? They may have been uh, visitors. See, look, look at them. Well, it's a, okay. Yeah, two, two men, two women. Shady, you say, right? That allows him to move more while you're not looking at him. The booty and the dividends to its dog. In fact, you may need lots of prompting if you're not straight out of Compton and your beats are falling flat. Well, we're just a few weeks away from, uh, from opening, and it's... Uh, you know, it's always exciting at this point, you know, just watching it all come together, and but uh, that's part of the thrill of it. Can discern ice cube. The doors open at 3 o'clock for a silent auction. There will also be live auction during the intermission, some fun raffles, and there's always champagne at the end. That's our tradition. Champagne for everyone. were discontinued when the coin was newly minted and now our value's lower than the paper where we're printed it brings a brand new meaning